Welcome to our first practical lesson. Before we start, I would like to suggest what you may use instead of heavy pedestrians under the embroidery frame. In the beginning, it's unnecessary to purchase any special legs for the frame, and at this stage, it is enough to put books or boxes with 10 to 15 centimeters height, enough to keep your left arm under the frame for the future manipulations. Now, if being a right hand writer, keep your right hand on top with a hook and left hand under the frame, supplying the thread from the bottom, like this. In Indian technique, all the accessories are placed on top of the needle of the hook. Thus, we face the embroidery and only the thread is supplied from the bottom. In French technique, all the accessories are threaded on the bobbin, like this. By keeping the bobbin under the frame, we supply our accessories with the left hand, binding from the bottom. We don't face any embroidery from the top, all shows from the bottom. And now I would like you to visually divide our frame into two parts and start working with the pattern. I'll place it at the frame's corner and redraw using a regular pencil. The lower existing part will be used for practicing. And in order to redraw, I'd like to turn the frame to the opposite side, like this, and place your picture underneath at the corner of the frame. You may use pins to secure the paper with the silk prior to redrawing. picture has been copied. Now let us practice the hook anywhere on the frame by passing the needle over the silk and catching the thread on. The tool has a very sharp needle that naturally passes over the fabrics and easily catches the thread with its nozzle hook. Feel your hand turning side to side. The stretched out thread should be securely kept with the last two fingers, and most of the time the tool must be found vertically. Input the hook Inside, catch the thread and draw the edge out. Keep the tool vertically. Make the stitch up to 3-4 mm and set the thread around the needle hook. Turn the screw in opposite 180 degrees and pull it out with a loop. Return the screw of the hook to the front and repeat. Make the stitch up to 3-4 mm and set the thread around the needle hook. Turn the screw to the opposite 180 degrees and pull it out with a loop. Repeat. Screw will always show you direction of the stitches. When unbinding the thread, the needle will certainly leave some holes and in order to remove it, simply rub the silk with the nail. Thread locking principle. In order to do the lock, apply the stitch 
after three or four millimeters. And set the thread around the needle hook. Turn the screw in opposite 180 degrees and pull it out with a loop. Now we put the hook to almost the same hole from where we started. Again, make a return to the front and repeat two three times until you feel the thread is secured. Thus continue stitching. In order to close the line, make one stitch to the back and one stitch to the front. Repeat two three times until the thread is secured. Now let us draw a little square on the practical side of the frame left behind. Apply a little securing lock. And follow the drawn line until the corner. Apply a short stitch to the opposite direction from the drawn line. And now continue with the regular stitches till the next corner. Again, place a short stitch to the opposite side from the drawn line and continue with the regular stitches till the next corner. Thus apply all corners of the square. Place a little securing lock and cut the thread leaving 4-5 cm edge. Now I'd like you to practice embroidering with a metal thread. Thus I've drawn another square and repeat the same process as before.
in order to secure the edges properly wrap the existing threads around the embroidered chain two or three times and then you may cut the thread on the base Thus, I would like you to exercise making precise corners while embroidering the squares. Now let us exercise embroidering the stem of the flower and its leaf using our metal threads. I place my bobbin under the frame. and start by applying the lock on the base of the stem. Try to get used to keep your tool strictly vertically and try not to place the hand completely on the picture but slightly upper. Thus, in future, when the picture will be drawn with a chalk, the lines wouldn't be destroyed. Continue embroidering the central leaf. Again, when coming to the corner, apply very short stitch in order to highlight the sharpness and continue applying stitches on the drawn line. Finish the leaf, applying the closing lock. Accurately hide the edges of the threads by twisting it around the chain two or three times. And then you may cut it on the base. Repeat the same process on the base of the seam. Photograph your work of the stem and the leaf. And your little squares and send me the pictures along with the questions or comments if you have.